What's up everybody out here shooting today in beautiful Arizona a little rain here and there but uh, I think we'll be okay so I wanted to shoot this video today um, I think I finally found the fix for this Christensen Arms MPP modern precision pistol in 300 blackout so if you haven't seen my previous videos on this pistol not a rifle um, it has light primer strike issues so about half of the rounds in the magazine won't fire I have to cock it redo that and then maybe it'll fire sometimes never fires at all but I'll link the uh, videos up here somewhere so you can uh, check those out if you're interested in seeing that. But that's the nuts and bolts of the problem with this rifle. So I do believe I found the fix for it finally though. Um, this gun has been back to Christensen for repair and they say it's fixed but it hasn't really ever been fixed. So speaking of the fix, that's the fix. So I've shot this a couple times already. Um, first time having it out today and it has no issues with light primer strikes. Um, I did get actually one on some uh, the gorilla ammunition, but those are really hard primers and difficult for a bolt action um, rifle to do that. So um, what we'll be doing today is uh, comparing the two and uh, mostly for reliability and see which one's functioning better. So I'll be using these um, striker ammunition, uh, kind of a cheap 300 blackout, uh, 220 grain subsonic. Um, and if it runs these, it'll pretty much run everything. So. Without further ado, let's get going. All right, so we'll do the uh, Christensen Arms MPP and 300 Blackout first and see how that one does. I'm gonna put my uh, Clarence Co. Hybrid 46 on there with my chemo mount. Um, see how well it suppresses compared to my other suppressor too with 300 Blackout. All right, let's try it out. I'm not aiming at anything. As you can see, there's no sights on here. This is just for functionality. First one right off the bat, light primer strike. Cock it, redo it like that. And it actually looks like it has a pretty good hit on the primer, but it still didn't go off. Let's see if the next one does it. That one works. Light primer strike again. all she wrote so uh, you can count along with me at home but I'm pretty sure that was uh, five light primer strikes on that guy out of ten so now we'll try the uh, Q mini fix and see what that does Again, same exact ammo. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, same exact ammo. Had one light strike there. Yeah, it's definitely a light strike on that one.
fell 10. So we did have one light strike out of 10, but um, all in all, not too bad. Uh, so we can't have both these rifles out here without doing a uh, accuracy test between the two and see how the accuracy is between this one and that one. So on the, um, out of fairness, I'm gonna use the same suppressor um, and same sights. So I'm gonna switch out the suppressor after I shoot five rounds um, and recite in this Hollow Sun 510C with the magnifier uh, on the Christensen arm rifle and see um, how it does. Let's try it. And we're gonna go dead center. I pulled that one for sure. Give it another chance. I know it's more than five, but this is a hell of a lot of fun. I didn't even see where it hit. That's all she wrote on that one. So what I'll do now is uh, switch everything over and recite in this uh, optic um, to the Christensen arm. Uh, MPP and 300 blackout. Again, same ammo, same sight, uh, same suppressor. The only difference is going to be the uh, gun itself. And an important note to take here is it fired every one of them uh, of the 10 I put in there. So um, let's see how the Christensen arm does and if it has any uh, light primer strike issues like it normally does. So uh, I'll also talk about this. So this is a Silencer Co. Um, hybrid 46, 46 caliber can. Um, and normally I run a chemo on it, but I've got the um, Q Plan B on there, which makes it adapt to um, this Cherry Bomb uh, muzzle brake that they have. It's actually working pretty good. Uh, I was a little surprised of how well I actually do like it. I thought I was going to like the um, chemo a lot better just because it's really fast to put on, but this isn't bad at all. So uh, I'll have to be pulling this off and putting the chemo back on so that I can adapt it to the chemo brake. Uh, on the Christensen Arms MPP. So as you can see, I got the chemo on there now, just for reference of how much faster this is to go on. Uh, you just line up the little arrow there, the top, and it's on, and it's not going anywhere. It's a really good um, suppressor mounting option uh, if you don't like the uh, ASR mounts or whatever they have for the um, Hybrid 46 normally, but I've had no problems with the chemo. I really like it. Comes off real easy too. So. Okay, so I got everything swapped out. Um, the only difference is this is using the chemo mount instead of the um, plan B mount uh, for the cherry bomb. So same ammo, same 10 rounds, um, got it all sighted in pretty close to center um, from switching the optics out. Um, so let's see how it does. That's how it does. I'll try that again. See it fired at least that time.
that one I'll try again. I don't know if you guys are hearing that thunder, but the storm's coming in pretty close. That's all she wrote. So I did have two uh, light primer strikes. Like I said, I just recocked it um, and pulled the trigger and it fired. So let's see how it did. So here's the target for the Christensen arms. Uh, you know, I'm very happy with that. I'm not a very good shot and that's a pretty good group. You know, it's a little bit over uh, one inch, I would say. Um, that's about 40 yards, 30 yards, 40 yards-ish. Um, so, you know, very accurate gun, all things considered, when it shoots, that's the problem with it. All right, so this is the target for the Q mini fix. Uh, as you can see, very nice tight group. I did pull one for sure. Um, actually, it was like that. I did pull one down for sure. Um, these up here were just from sighting in the um, optics for the um, Christensen Arm uh, MPP. So, you know, all things considered, the two are pretty good. Um, I'd take those all day long. Stupid sticky targets. I'd take those all day long. So, I think the Q is just a little bit more accurate, minus that one that I pulled. But the more important thing is, is the gun actually fires every round that you put through it. So, I did have one or two light primer strikes, but I haven't had any since. And I'm shooting um, this Gorilla Ammo uh, with Sierra Match King, uh, 220 grade subsonic uh, open tips. So, you know, pretty accurate round in my opinion, and probably the hardest primers out there that I've been told. So, um, in my opinion, it's a no-brainer. You know, it looks better, it functions better, it's lighter weight, the bolt throws better, and it takes AR-15 magazines. Like, you can't beat that. Um, you know, if I had to do all over again, I never would have bought this guy. You know, I paid... You know, a pretty ch good chunk of change for this thing, and for it not to work 100% uh, of the time, spend the extra money. You know, the old term "buy once, cry once" is definitely true uh, to this to this two rifles. And the other thing I would say too is a lot of people ask me like, "What's the point of having a uh, 300 blackout pistol?" Um, and it's 110% to go out and shoot uh, subsonic. Um, suppressed ammo out of this gun and have a lot of fun doing it. This is by far the most fun gun I own um, and I will definitely uh, enjoy it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, hit me up below in the comments. As always, I'll get to you as soon as I can. Uh, stay safe out there and hopefully I don't get rained on. Have a good one guys. Bye.